summer's a great time to start getting things ready for waterfowl season. You know, it's right around the corner and you're just sitting there kind of chomping at the bit to get out there. So one thing you can do is take advantage of that time to retouch your old decoys. Or you can even hit some of the garage sales that are going on and get some really good deals on some old decoys just to kind of bolster your numbers out in the field. A lot of times those decoys will get all dirty and muddy over the years and they kind of start to lose that lifelike look. This is a really quick and easy way to bring some life back to them, make them a little bit more realistic. It doesn't cost hardly any money and it takes you maybe about 15 minutes per decoy. For the most part, we're just gonna be using spray paint. However, we will use a little bit of white latex paint. You can find that in the craft section at Walmart for like 50 cents. The colors you're gonna need for the spray paint are white, brown, a darker brown works best, a light tan, flat black, and gloss black. The first step is to use the brown from an extreme frontal direction. You want to hit the side and back feathers, the wings, and then make sure you wipe off some of the extra paint. You just want to leave most of the paint in the grooves. Second step is to take the tan and you're going to spray that on fairly heavy on the breast area from above. Then use the same tan at an extreme rear angle over the brown to highlight the details in the feathers. Next we're going to take the flat black and lightly mist it over the brown from above. We just want to kind of darken it slightly. And then we'll go ahead and spray the flat black heavy on the wingtips and tail area. Then you want to use the gloss black and go back over the exact same areas and just give it a slight sheen. You don't want it too shiny. Now we're going to use the white spray paint to lighten up the breast area. and then do a heavier coat on the butt. Now we're gonna use flat black on the head. and then gloss black for a slight sheen. Again, you don't want to use too much of the gloss, you just want it to have a little bit of a sheen, not too shiny. You'll notice that feathers on a live goose have just a little slight sheen. They're not shiny, but they do reflect a little bit of light. Now we're gonna take the white latex paint and we're gonna use a brush to put it on the cheek areas. It doesn't have to look perfect, it just has to look a little bit brighter, make it look a little bit more realistic. All right, so there you have it. It's pretty easy. Just takes about 10, 15 minutes per decoy. Doesn't cost hardly anything at all, and it'll save you money too. Plus, you can add to those numbers if you want to get into the bigger groups of decoys out in the field, but you can't afford all brand new decoys, hit some of those garage sales. You might be able to find some great deals and bring some life back to them. And the more realistic they look, the closer you're going to get those geese in. The closer you get the geese in, the more geese you're going to kill.